now up to episode four, right? Am my counts right? Because it wasn't right for who's next. It's, it's four. <laughs> this is four. This yeah, is you, four. You this is, this is a sad four, I think. Can everybody agree that this was a really sad four? Yeah, this is the worst one so far. The worst. The opening was cool. The movie what was What are we not. listening to right now? This is Chun Li's opening theme. theme in the Street from, Fighter 2. Oh, from from the animated one? No, from, no, the, from the game. The game. From the actual game. Oh, if you okay, go to okay, her okay. stage, all right, that's what's I think like, they got okay, like the right. chickens flying around in the back and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. I vaguely remember like, this. I pe- vaguely people remember are trying this. to work, but they're just like, oh, there's a fight going on. Yeah, basically. So Put the um, chicken down. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, we're doing The Legend of Chun-Li. It was the next Street Fighter movie they tried to do after Street Fighter the movie from 94. So well, this, the next like live action. Yeah, the next yeah the next live action. There was a couple of animated movies. And stuff I, like I, that. I have a place in my heart for the for Street Fighter Two, the animated movie. That that was a good movie. Yeah, it, it was. Yeah, I have to agree with you. So uh, we're gonna get into this movie a little bit. Uh, I think this movie came out in uh, two thousand one. I want to say fairly recent ish. Yeah, is it? Well, yeah, kind I of. No, I'd say but, more two thousand eight. Yeah. Okay. Um, look, look, look that up. Yeah, look, look that look up. up. I thought it was. I thought I was pretty sure it was two thousand one, but I couldn't. No, it, it was two thousand eight. Because um, around two thousand one, she was still doing Smallville. Ah, she hadn't okay. even hit it big yet. Two thousand nine. Two thousand nine. Oh, I was close. So you were closer. Shit. Something else is two thousand one that I'm thinking Ooh, about. And I'm just looking at Rotten Tomatoes. Gave it a six percent. Six percent. There you go. <laughs> well, pretty sure we lost a lot of lives doing this one. So usually I don't agree with Rotten Tomatoes, but I can. Um, yeah, we got um, a mutual agreement. Yeah, yeah, we're <laughs> yeah. Yeah. mutual agreement. There's a mutual understanding between us. And Rotten Tomatoes for right this now, right now, yeah, right, for now. This, right now for this movie. And look, I knew this day was coming. The other movies I think we did were like okay. They were okay. Yeah, Doom kind of depressed me, but it wasn't because the movie itself was like god awful. But it was just that it just really didn't even need to be called Doom. And the game Doom, the movie from the game Doom, should have been better. But anyways, I'm gonna open up with the trailer here, and um, yeah. You hear this trailer. I'm pretty sure it may not be as fun as... Uh, I haven't Street heard Fighter. the trailer yet, so I'm, I'm hoping to hear, I love this job, somewhere <laughs> in the trailer. I forgot that was a trailer. <laughs> in life, there is beauty, and there is terror. One must not overwhelm I agree. the other. To embrace both, you'll need the strength of a warrior. The stealth of a predator. And the wisdom of a master. Once you have learned your power, you must decide what you fight for. Forgetting. Stop me. Yeah. I thought I remember hearing a lot of like, ho, 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 like yeah. shit like that, you know? Yeah, and then there was like, Bison, I'm going to kick your I'm ass. to kick <laughs> your ass. <laughs> this yeah. is the travel agency. Your ass is six months overdue. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we should just do another episode of Street Fighter instead of this one. Let's <laughs> <laughs> just rehash last episode. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure after this is done, people are going to be like... Quick, change the channel! <laughs> well, we're going into the first part. So let's start with the first part of this movie, I guess, and get into it. So the first part, it opens up, and you open up to, like, little girl Chun-Li. And, like, she's being raised by her father and, by like, teaching her martial arts. So she gets this, like, startup of learning martial arts. Well, first... He's like insistent that she learns the piano, if I remember correctly. That is true. It's the piano. Yeah. It's the piano. And I don't recall how it suddenly switched to like, nah, we're doing martial arts now. Well, I don't really know why they introduced the piano in the first place because it had nothing to do yeah, with the I rest know. of the movie. It was, it was stupid. Yeah. Well, like, it's a real quick fast forward. I feel like, Ryan, you want to say something. Go ahead, Ryan. I mean, well, it did start with her playing the piano. 
and then she just stopped and saw him doing martial arts turned around and looked at her and just like okay come do martial arts yeah th- that's what i was like i don't there wasn't anything because i thought it opened up with her explaining how like she lived in a family where it was really important that they like stayed on the piano like it was such a big deal to them and then suddenly it's like but then one day i saw my father doing martial arts and it just wasn't important anymore yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if they actually... Well, this is this is the thing, right? So, because I do want to get to this when she gets older. So, it starts as her as a kid. And you don't really show what her dad does or anything like that. Apparently, she just had, like, a really good dad. It's just a really good yeah, dad. Really nice house. Dad. Really nice house. Really good dad. Beautiful wife. Until Bison... And we get to see Balrog for the first time. In fact, no, Bison doesn't show up. It's Balrog Balrog's that the shows first up. I think that and then there's like probably the best fight scene in the movie yeah, he's right probably, there. Yeah, he's, yeah, uh, probably he's going to the it. fridge for a midnight snack. Yeah, yeah. And then like he has uh, then Balrog just bust through the wall like and, like the fucking Kool Aid man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was probably thinking like me, like I really want that snack. <laughs> yeah. So. Now, this was kind of weird to me because they he busts in, there's this fight, and then, like, he beats up the dad. The mom's out there screaming, hits the mom. Chun-Li's watching the whole time. Wait, wait. They takes hit the, the dad. They hit the mom? Huh? I thought, I thought he, like, backed No, the, the mom ran shit. outside, and he, like, hit her or smacked yeah, her, and she fell to the ground. Just yeah. wow. Yeah. And then, but, no, this is what happens next. Chun-Li's watching the whole time, and she's got to be, like, 10 maybe something yeah like something, she's, she's older it's not that. like she's like five i think I, I think she's a little older than that i think so yeah because at this point she's already like kind of good at yeah her martial arts. yeah so because this is the extent of her training okay yes the training it is stops here well it might have continued on her own prerogative we're not okay, giving we any detail that. yeah so as far as we see as far as we see training stops okay. there but this is the craziest 10, part to me 12. Is that they capture the dad, and Chun Li's watching, and it just goes back to bed. Well, Bison Actually, gives her Bison, like a little talk. Yeah, remember she's she's he standing on the stairs, and, and Bison. Is, that's right. Yeah, that's yeah, right. That's like when you see Bison for the first time. I don't remember yeah, exactly he, what he, he says. He pops up and he's just like, he hey, just kind of scares the shit out of her. It's all good. Yeah, we just well, got your dad. Then it fast forwards to her being like an expert pianist. Yep. Right. Mm-hmm. She's playing at some concert hall. And then, like... So, I took that as she's no longer practicing martial arts. Yeah. She was like, well, I don't have a teacher anymore. Well, it it cuts... The the, this is where the... From this point forward, the movie just feels like a bunch of scenes. Like, it's a, like a bad editing job from here on out. Because, like, you got... She's, like, playing piano and stuff. Then she's in a subway and some guy's getting beat up. And she's like, no. And then she, like, goes home and her mom's dying. And it's like... Your journey. These begins. are three thoughts yeah, yeah. that are going, and I'm like, "What are we talking about here?" You know. And then like, the mom dies, and she just throws away her life as a pianist. Yeah. And like, and then, and she she gets that strange Chinese scroll. Yes. So she gets a strange Chinese scroll. All right. Throws everything away, and it, it's not even that like, oh, this could be my dad. That's never said. It's like, oh, I'm going to go no. find my dad. It's just That's random, never it's just said. random Some, Asian characters. Yeah, somebody gave Some me would say my legendary. Journey, my journey begins. Right. Yeah. You know, and so she Her she, legend. she gets the, the scroll. And I think it's after she gets the scroll, she walks outside and she sees the random dude getting beat down. And, you know, she has a moral dilemma about doing something, which she doesn't do anything. Mm-hmm. Um, pieces out. And then I'm not sure... Uh, what drove her to the random shop in Chinatown? I thought she just found the oldest lady who's Chinese and like, can right, you read like, this? How did she get there again? Um, I don't know. She was walking and um, an old man bumped into oh, her. Oh, right. That's yeah, right. yeah, the old dude was like sleeping in the dirt mm-hmm. and just like shoved her ass yeah. into there. Mm-hmm. And she as, was like, as oh, if they were I expecting sense an legendary aura. Yeah, right? yeah. And of course, that's actually Liu Kang from Mortal Kombat, but you know. But okay. at, at the same time I watched this movie, I'm still baffled about that candle fight. The candle fight. Yeah, when the father was fighting Balrog. With the it, chain? They, oh, they whipped fuck him with the shit. chain. That was stupid. And then he reached over and, and he set his it hand was on bonkers. fire. Well, because was, he had the idea was that his hand was full of alcohol. So then when it caught fire, if you're if, if okay, you see, in, I missed it, the alcohol. Bit. Yeah, because if you engulf something with alcohol and you set it on fire, the alcohol will burn first before right. it burns. I was okay else. with his hand being on fire. 
the chain. It just travels across the chain, and the other I, dude just erupts in the I flame. I couldn't help it. <laughs> I couldn't help it when when the guy got erupted in flames. I said to myself, I wrote in my notes. It says, "Fatality." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we had this, and then Luke Kang is Gin. So I mean, like it just they kept calling him Gim. Gim. It's it's G E N. G E N. I thought they, they kept, called him. I thought they called him. And Gin is a Street Fighter character. He's uh like the master, I believe, who trains Ryu and Ken. According is to that, the game, is that the mythology. dude with like the big? It looks like giant pearl necklace. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, Wait. Yes, yes. He I has thought, some I kind. That's who he was supposed to be. Yeah. Although he looks nothing like him. No, no, no. That's not him. No. That's, that's not, not him. him. That's not him. No. He's the old guy with the beard. That's not him. Never mind. That's not what, the guy. What's the name of the dude I'm thinking of? The guy you're thinking of is the guy who trained yeah, Ryu yeah. and Ken. Yeah, I can't that's, remember his name. This guy is not him. Are we talking about the guy who does Hadoukens with one hand? Yes. Yeah. That's somebody different. What's his name? Never mind. <clears throat> now I just want to know his no, name. I don't man, care about this movie. Good, look it up. What's his name? Me. Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. I don't want to. Yeah, well, he's going to look it up. All right. So anyways, regardless... My the phone. guy keeps bumping I into turn my her. Phone off. You jackass. <laughs> I already know how to search for this dude. Dude, Pearl Necklace Street Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> you do that. You do that. All right. Yeah. So, anyways, getting forward with the movie. Um, so, Chun Li gets some. For, no, these scenes. The way I'm explaining it feels like there's no logical thought. It's the same way with this movie. There really is no logical thought. Throughout this whole movie, it's just kind of like these scenes spliced together to like, oh, this is a story. Okay, that search brought up a picture of Mega Man. So well, there you go. <laughs> what? Whoa! So Mega Man yeah. is Ryu and Ken's teacher. <laughs> All right, you well, know what? Let me, let me actually. I'll buy it. it. Okay, uh, I'll buy it. Touche, Capcom. Touche. Yeah. <laughs> well. After that, I think we start getting a look at Bison. It's, it's Go Ken. Go Ken. That's yeah. right. Uh, that sounds right. All right. So anyway, Sorry. Go Ken. Got okay. a little distracted yeah. there. So uh, after that, I think we get our first look. After we see Chun Li, and she's like, you know, she gets the scroll read, and uh, she and there's just narration the whole time of her like in the streets of Bangkok, and she sees the poor Why? and destitute. Why did she have to? Be a hobo for a little while. What was? Yeah, no, I I don't understand. They didn't explain that at all. She was like, she just all of a sudden because she got a Chinese scroll that she could not read. Well, I know the the old lady read bits of it to her. Yeah. And does anybody remember exactly what was read to her? No, I didn't care. Yeah, that, that, that was the issue. You know, Some, like, something about where her journey lies. Yeah, and something about go. her. Journey. And she called it like an ancient. It's in like some Chinese language. There's no language called Chinese. Okay, in China, there's two different languages. One's Mandarin, and the other one is. Um, well, yeah, but I thought, like I thought she was saying it was like a like an old Cantonese, lost dialect. You know, I don't even. She didn't even get that far. She was just uh, like, "Oh, okay, this is old Chinese." Maybe <laughs> I just filled in gaps with I, like, I just ways whole, to make this make sense. I just thought that whole scene was just like, didn't I see that in Batman Begins, where you, Bruce Wayne is rich, then he decides, you know what? To beat up the bad guys, I'm gonna be poor. I'm but go. there was a reason for that. Like you see his parents die, and you see him want to fight crime. They didn't explain any of that. Yeah, this is her. She's like she seemed well point, adjusted. Exactly. She had friends. She, she had was playing friends, piano. She had a successful career. Yeah. And then she sees a homeless guy, gets a magical scroll, and then she's like, "I'm going to Bangkok." She sees a guy get beat up. Sees her mom die. But there's and it just like chopped like that, like that, yeah, like that, and then then it's I'm broke now in the streets of Bangkok, and I want to help poor people. And I'm Which dirty. okay, that's nice, but we didn't see why. Yeah, you're just doing stuff. Yep. And then uh, then we get our look at Bison to see what Bison's been doing the whole time, and apparently he's having some business deal for whatever reason, and everybody yeah, is. I got the feeling he was like a. A a teenager's idea, like caricature of like successful evil businessman. Yeah, basically. You know, like not fully fleshed out. It was just like throw his ass in a suit, put him in some fancy buildings, and have him talk about schemes. Yeah, like, yeah, that was basically. You know, and, that seemed like Bison. So take it when he kidnaps Chung Lee's dad. Then fast forward years later, now he's got a goatee. Yeah, pure evil. Well, and you know the. Pure uh, evil. The uh, the actor was really funny to me because he's the guy that's in Arrow and he was um, uh, Damien Dark in the Arrow TV show. 
who was this uh, magic guy. And also he was in Walking Tall, that remake with The Rock. Yeah, he's in a okay. lot of movies. Yeah, this like, movie, I recognize him. Yeah, you know? this movie gives him an accent. He is l- trying to do an Irish accent. See, I never caught that. Who you can, you can uh, you can yeah. hear it slightly. I, I didn't notice. It's in some words he says like at the end of his sentences he'll give it a little like Irish kind of top of the morning to you or something like like he'll give some little kind of nice to it. Yeah, it's my <laughs> attempt, my piss poor well, attempt of being a charms. racist <laughs> Irish person. But he has some weird now. Is Bison Irish? He is now. Yeah, <laughs> I guess so. According to the yeah. scroll, yeah. Like, according I, to I don't even think the scroll said that. That was just a decision made, and I, that's a commitment. Like, why commit to this weird, slight Irish accent when his backstory later on says he was raised in Bangkok? Just because you're born Irish doesn't mean you have an Irish accent if you were born and raised in Bangkok. It does in The Legend of Chun Li. I, I guess so. <laughs> Unless one of those guys in Bangkok had an Irish accent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was raised by the only other person in Bangkok that's <laughs> Irish and has an accent. So he could stay true to his heritage. Because he was an orphan. That is shown in his backstory, too, when they do the little video of his backstory. So what we didn't see is when he was raised by Timothy O'Shea. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, those little scenes of his backstory, those are my favorite. Those yeah. are my favorite scenes. We're going to get to those. Yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was bananas. We're going to get to those in favorite. a minute, oh but God. we end up seeing our first look at Vega mm. for two, se- for two <laughs> yeah, seconds. he's terrible. Well, we don't get to see him fight. And the, honestly, they have an actor for this who's a Black Eyed Peas yep. singer. Yep. Taboo. Taboo. Yeah. They gotta put anybody in that role for that first scene, because he never right, shows yeah, up again just, yep. until later in the movie with Chun Li. Pretty pretty far. Yeah, pretty movie. far yeah, into like the close movie. To the end. And then you see his face. And then you see his face. It could have been somebody else the whole time. Yeah, and and the first time you you see him, he slaughters a bunch of people, and you just hear it. Like you don't actually get to see him in action. You just hear people. Wasn't dying. it the head of all the the mafiosos that was in that area? Oh. Well, let's do this. Let's introduce this scene the right way. Oh, no. This is when I decided I hated this movie. Right there. Right. Yep, this is it. Yep. Gangland homicide. Call that. I love this giant. <laughs> God damn you, Chris job. Klein. And this is when I almost threw my baby at the television. <laughs> that, that right there. We didn't even know what your job was. Job. I love this job. And he's got the whole, then he have the whole sunglasses. Come walk up like he kiss out the car all cool. And, yeah, you know, he fucking drove up like he was in middle school or some shit. And he just got his first car. Yeah, well. Too late. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so then he sees the murder scene of what Vega did. Apparently, Bison had everybody killed who didn't agree with him, which was everybody. And we get to hear agree Bison. Agree with him for what? Uh, I don't, nobody knows. I don't know. Some, they, it was oh, some vague business, business deal. deal. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it and, was a uh, business pushing deal. Them out. And he was trying to outbuy them. No, wait, wait, wait. I like got that. it. Let's let Chris Klein. Explain. Oh, is he going to explain? Oh, okay, great. It's a front for Shadow Lao. License bringing crime into Shadow the neighborhoods Lau. to drive the land value down and then is buying it back up wholesale. We got to move on then. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Chris Klein. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that was an opening who, scene of CSI Miami. Chris Klein is the actor who's playing Charlie. Right. Charlie is the cop that comes on scene with the other girl, Maya, who's the uh, the name of the character. I'm not sure the actress name. We'll look him up. In just know, she was pretty hot. And uh, they end up working together. You see all the heads trying to find out. And Bison, I guess he decides to, uh, we get to see what happened to Chun-Li's dad after this. Chun-Li's dad is still alive, working for Bison in some kind of virtual prison type thing. And... He's kept alive because he has business connections. Oh, is that why? Yes. He has... I thought he just had like some sort of expertise. No. That, that like you would think, he oh, needed. he's a computer hacker. Right, oh, he's, right. No, he has 
business connections that he needs. Why do you need business connections if you're just killing everybody who doesn't agree with you? But you need this guy for his business connections. He also makes a pretty good damn omelet, too. Yeah, well, he also likes to clap for himself. Is it he? She had a piano concert. From what I have heard, she was quite well received. You hear the Irish accent? I just, yeah, yeah. Now, now I just. Noticed. You know, I'm surprised you chose the landscape setting. I'd have thought of you as being much more of a big city man. Now it's all I can hear. But a prison is a prison. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. Yeah, it's in my mind. Man, it's it's deep worse. Yeah, like yeah, it definitely. Show a prisoner the world. Top of the you. <laughs> all he sees are the bars on the window. <laughs> all he sees is the bars. All he sees is the bars. <laughs> Home sweet home. Gorgeous, isn't it? Sarge, your meeting girl. Very well. Thank you for asking. Don't make me I'm laugh. I'm officially the only surviving partner of Shadow Lao. Now we move on to the Bangkok yeah, board of directors. Yes, I'll need their contact. Oh, I thought that was his dad. I heard that. No, why would he clap? He hates I him. I don't know. We were talking about a dad. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't understand the connection. So, yeah, it, it, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I, I really hear that Irish accent. Yeah, yeah, now now I'm like super super aware. <laughs> yeah, like, but I lucky never charms, picked man. it up when now, I was now, actually watching it. Now I'm thinking of like Peaky Blinders. <laughs> <laughs> and it's such a strange choice. It's like Bison Why? doesn't need to be Irish. I, I I literally I think it was just like some super lame ass attempt to to spice it up to make him a little more interesting. Well, no, I think what they were trying to do, and this is where this movie was kind of weird at, because it was like. They wanted to be real and have a real tone, that's what, yeah, that's but nothing what in the movie. Because the, so they was the, like he was like, I know what I do. I'll give an Irish accent and give this real vibe. Like right. you know, he's Irish and I'll yeah. stay true to it. And they're like, Wait. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah. yeah Wait, so, it'll so make you're him telling more grounded. So, so you're telling like me person. Bison's costume in the 1994 movie wasn't real? But look, this is I got that's this, a real madman. I got it's an easier this, pill to swallow than what I just watched. So <laughs> yeah. I got this interview. And I got this clip of them talking about how they tried to make Street Fighter, like, real. Street Fighter is not a superhero movie. Nobody flies around, you know, it's grounded in reality. So the first time you introduce your character in an action setting is critical because that's the whole ballgame. Okay. He's saying it's real. He wants to keep it real. And it's That's, critical that it's real. Yeah. And in the first fight scene, you see her fight in a real setting because it's not superheroes, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, you heard that, right? Okay. In the same interview, we have a follow-up with the guy who did like the fight scenes and stuff. That's the uh, first scene in this movie, Chun Li fight. So we need to show the audience the style. Three, two, one, go! Chun Li is a kicker, and we wanted Kristen's natural gymnastic and martial arts ability to come through. So the wire work is so important in this style. She's got a lot of kicks, and it's all based on kind of a bird like movement. With the wire, I always think about the reality. If the normal people, they can jump like a six feet. I used the wire help her to jump up maybe eight feet. Just two feet more. You feel it's not quite unbelievable. The well, audience guys, will feel. Maybe I can do it too, can but jump. look cool. Search Google, because I did. The average person could jump two feet. Two feet. <laughs> two feet. Most people cannot jump six feet. Jump and then giving them an eight feet, feet jump clearance. So I made her jump eight feet. <laughs> There's only a six feet difference. So so you're pretty much saying with wires, I could jump four feet. Yeah. Shit. Mm-hmm. Well, with oh wires, you could jump eight feet. Because he says most people could jump six feet. But I give a two foot difference. Because why not? You're not going to notice. Well, I kind of notice when I can only jump two feet and she's jumping eight she's, feet in yeah, the she's air. She's jumping like over yeah. people's heads. And like, off that's, walls literally, and that's literally me standing and her jumping and her feet clearing my head yep. by at least two feet or yep. a foot and a half at least. That's crazy. So this is not done in any realism whatsoever. So the, th- the thing is, the best way I can describe this movie and this this is just how I felt (laughs) when it was over with I was like this movie felt like it was directed by a 14 year old who was trying to take Street Fighter something that he loves at the time and make it 
adult and make it real. That's what it felt like. It felt like a premature attempt of making like a mature or realistic depiction of the characters in a story. Yeah, I'll give you that. That that is exactly because like a lot of these stuff that I was seeing, I was like, this is the shit that I would kind of daydream about when I was in like middle school. You know, like when yeah. I was in like sixth or seventh grade. This is the kind of things that were run through my mind. Well, not only that, like a lot of the fight scenes too. When you see Chun Li fighting, it I feel like they'll do the stunts, like her jumping in the air or whatever, and I feel like it almost slows down, and you can just see them attempting to do it. Like it doesn't feel natural. Like when you watch a lot of martial arts movies, things are going by so fast, and I don't know. Some of it's, I guess, maybe camera work with their movement and all that, but this just felt like. It would stop and let her do like that scene in the club when she does like the spin kick. Fuck that scene. Yeah, well, let me introduce that scene. I never noticed that this fucking Street Fighter song was playing. Wait, yeah. I got something to say about this. Because this oh, street. Shit. Who's shooting people? Yeah, this is the club scene where it gets in there. And is this after she already seduced the lady and beat her ass? Yeah, that yes, yeah, it's okay, after okay, that because okay, okay. she's trying to escape. This is Chris right. Klein, this is Charlie Chris Klein. coming in, guns out. Yeah, so I just wanted to get the Street Fighter song because this they're singing Street Fighter song and this is supposed to be real. Yep. Okay, you have this right. This is a Street Fighter song. This club scene and everything in the same movie. Right after it, you get this. <laughs> Oh, yeah. See, see, this is another example of well, this is like a 14 year old idea if of you, like this extreme violence. He is beating be, she'd said a woman. This is Bison the damage beating was done. the crap out of this woman. Those are the sounds. Wow. But you get this. <laughs> <laughs> well, what they're trying to say is that it just got real with this movie. Well, you're okay. Street Fighter. <laughs> no, <laughs> it got real. Too late. It's not real. So to back up a little bit in that club scene, we're making fun of the song and all that. But what happened was apparently Chun Li gets a lead on somebody who works with Bison, and it's this lady in the club. Now I just like his assistant or something like that. Yeah, just, a lot just of this so is stretches just, that I make. Just an assistant. Like, this we is get the no thing. extra information. Well, this is how it is, right? Charlie and his investigation will like find this information out, and then Chun Li, without talking or being in any cahoots with, well, no, but Jin would be like he has an assistant. Yeah, I, I remember that. I remember Jin he, he told does, her he does say that that like you got you can't go directly for him. You got to go for his assistant. Mm-hmm. And then the next thing you know, it's she's a weird like, she's like leaving the office, so and I think Chun Li's kind of like, what well, if I remember right, Chun Li's watching her. And then the next scene. They're in they're the, at club. the club, and it's the strangest. Like they're like eyeing each other down, like they want to fuck. Right. And I, so I'm but, watching, and I'm like, wait, she's a lesbian? Like that's yeah, did, fine. Did, did I miss but that don't part? surprise me with this. Well, right not, here but not now. only that, they're just like circling each other, and it's like, do they want to fight? Do they want to fuck? I didn't know what the hell. Was and going then they're on. like starting to dance, but the dancing is like, what? I, yeah, I, <laughs> I kind of had to rewind the part because maybe I missed it. Thinking again, it's just like she's in the club. Oh, by the way, she's a lesbian. Yeah. I was like, nope. No part? Nope. No, there, there was nope. no... Yeah, so that's what I was thinking. Like, so she, she gets in the club with her two bodyguards. And this is why I hated this scene so much. I was, I was telling Ryan about this last yeah, like, couple yeah, nights I ago. Remember. You know, so they walk into the club, and they go straight to the bar, and they lay at the bar, and they kind of, like, look, you know, in the... Di- like, off, just off camera a little bit. And then it cuts to random people dancing, and you watch that for a couple seconds, and then back to them at the bar, staring off in the distance. Back to the club dancers. Back to them at the bar. I think they were looking in the, the same direction. There was yeah, they were all like the looking at the same. So I was like, "What? What am I missing right now?" And they then like cut to Chun Li, and Chun Li kind of makes eye contact. Back to them at the bar, staring in the same direction. It was like they just recorded the one scene and just kept cutting back to it. And then suddenly I'm like, "What is happening right here?" Because Chun Li's kind of looking, making eyes, and I was like, "Why is she making eyes at her?" And then it was clearly working, and I was like, "She's a lesbian." How, how does Chun Li know she's a lesbian? We didn't know she was a lesbian. Well, How I does think... she know that this is going to work right now? Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. You know why? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> and then she just wanders off into the bathroom, and then the the assistant just can't resist and goes into the bathroom. I guess to just bang in the bathroom. Yeah, I don't know. I was like, are they like going to fuck? Uh, but then they, of course, they fight, and well, then yeah. like she gets beat up, and after I know, that, you know, I get disappointed. <laughs> That's what happens to her for losing yeah, against Chung. Yeah, yeah. They, they fight. I get disappointed. No lesbian action. Yeah. And then that is, like, done. And then after that, what else happened? Isn't I, that when he moved to Vega? No. Isn't I, that when he... I, no, I, I no, was no, kind, no. I was kind of wondering with the bodyguard since they were staying at one... At one point, which bodyguard said, where is she? Let's go check on her. Oh, yeah. They go run to well, the bathroom. I thought, yeah, they, I thought there was one right outside the bathroom. There was like two of them that went and like checked, and I think they heard some noise, but they thought it was like I guess them, them banging. Or something. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I, so. I, don't, I don't know. They thought it. We thought it. It's they like, weren't. Yeah, I don't like, know. We must, they must be banging. Yeah. Making but a lot I think of noise. after that club scene happens, that's when they find out the information about like uh, the white rose, and nobody knows what this white rose. It's like some shipment coming in. That's what they think it is. Yeah. I think it's called the white rose. Yeah. And in all actuality, you know, spoilers. It's Bison. This is daughter. sounding uncomfortably like the plot to Daredevil from Netflix. <laughs> Wait, what? Did you either, either, either of you guys watch no, no, Daredevil? No, no, no. Explain this to him. Yeah, Did please. either of you guys watch Daredevil? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, well, I've watched season one, season two. You know. Okay, so I'm wearing right, a Daredevil shirt right now. The uh, Fisk and like the hand and everything. All they were dealing with was property for around Hell's Kitchen. That's true. And then there was the whole thing with the black sky that was coming in on shipment up to one of the properties that they just recently purchased so that they could get the shipment in. And that's exactly what happens in this Holy movie. Holy shit. <laughs> we just found out Daredevil's a remake Daredevil of Legend of Chun-Li. It's a better. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Kudos, Netflix. Kudos. Timmy caught the link. They probably was like, you know what? This movie sucks, but we can fix this we script. We can make this right. And then Daredevil season one and everybody's like, the- oh my. They're like, what do you what do you mean? Have you seen Legend of Chung Lee? <laughs> I'm glad we found that out. Well, this the funniest scene in the movie is actually that scene when Chun Li finally gets to the dock and they're no, like, it's not, it's not the funniest scene in the movie. I I bet you it is, because in that scene you see Bison and all his evil, and he's staring down at Chun Li. And then a microphone pops out right by his head. <laughs> Wait. I still not the funniest scene in the movie to me. It, it is hilarious because the, the microphone pops out me. quick, like, like this, and Bison's still looking like this, and there's the boom mic. And I'm looking at it, and I'm like, what the fuck? And then it turns to the next scene, and I was like, you did not edit that out? What? Nope. nope. Who nope. cares? Nope. With the power of Bison. Nope. So, um... Then she, well, I think we skipped over because she gets kidnapped in that uh, scene, and we get into that. But you know what? Shit, I'm sure. Doesn't matter. Let's go back to where they cut into a bison. We find out about bison. So Timmy, <sighs> I know you've best. been waiting for it. So I have this. This is the best. I'm gonna give you the. Wait, we have we have a clip or something? Yeah. With each passing year, he became more and more feared, and a well-known thief. Is this what he's doing the fist? <laughs> took what he wanted. So he became more and more Irish. No! Yeah. No! Oh but my god, that yep, that's the funniest scene in this entire movie. He yearned for more. <laughs> more fish. Yep. That was him running away with so the fish. That, that is the scene. All right, so he's Jen is talking about how dark and evil this man is, and he has like this sordid past and how he was ruthless and he had no conscience. And they decide to depict this by having him as some string bean looking teenager run out to the dock where some old people caught some fish. Grab like two fish from another basket, stick it in another basket full of fish, pick it up, and like waddle away <laughs> towards the camera. And the yeah. old couple just yeah. kind of holds each other and they're like, <laughs> That's it. That's like yeah. Am Bison's past. And I was just like, That's the scene you wanted to show. Right before that, though, they show a close up of him as a baby in the orphanage. And this is an actual mistake it's an Asian baby. And Bison's a white Irish man. I remember thinking it was suspicious. <laughs> I remember being like, "What?" Those are those are like the two biggest mistakes they made in so, this movie. They got the wrong baby, they got and then the they left baby. the scene in there where a microphone pops out, and they didn't cut it. So the baby was just so evil it sprouted blonde hair and Irish accent. Yes, I, I, I would probably say and so. Because if he sold the fish, if he's raised in Bangkok and has an Irish accent, there's a lot of mistakes that happened in his upbringing. So, yeah, I, I I don't know. No, it's Can it's I, after he steals the fish. 
that they show him take his beautiful bride, right? Is, is that right? Isn't that like one of the, it's like pretty soon after that? Yeah. He, yeah. He, he somehow marries this beautiful woman. Yeah. After he's got no conscience and he's like a horrible bastard, you know, who yeah. steals old yeah. people's fish. And he, he marries this beautiful woman. And gets her pregnant, and they're like, it's it, it's kind of depicted as like this dreamy, like happy sequence. Yep. And then he's like, Oh, I got it right hey, here. Hey, baby, come with me to this mysterious ancient cave. Yep. The transformation was complete. Yep. So he he convinces his beautiful bride to follow him out into this cave while she's like ready to pop pregnant, and he just rips her open and pulls out the baby. Yep. And then the transformation. She is like, this is not Oh, and don't forget, this is the same movie. <laughs> I wonder if she, same movie. Yeah. I wonder if she was thinking, this is not the hospital. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was like, how is she convinced to do this? <laughs> this, is, this is definitely not Baskin Robbins. I was like, how, how the fuck? No, oh, women don't have choices about what they do in this movie. She, just, just, like, she just married the dude. It's kind of a weird, it's just like a, like a woman's story with Chun-Li being a strong character, but it's Everybody like, else. Uh, well, every that's why one. it's the legend of Chun-Li. It's, you know, she's, she's different. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah, but I, I was definitely startled by this movie would be like just stupid and, you know, just like cheesy and ridiculous. And then just every now and then it'd be like, boop, extreme violence, you know? And I'm like, whoa, like, yeah. holy shit, you know? Yeah. Like, like with the heads on display, that was the first moment where I was like, damn. Was like, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. They had the heads laid out in the beginning yeah. when we hear Charlie's introduction of how he loves this <laughs> job. Yeah. You see, Vega has all the heads out. Yep. And then I think the next scene was when he ripped open... For the baby, and like the blood splatter all yeah. over his face and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, you're screaming. Yeah, yeah. And then there was uh, when he beat up his assistant. Those might have been flipped. I, I can't remember which one of those came. Well, first. no, the beat up the assistant, I believe, came first. Yeah, that might. have Then there came was first. the backstory on him, and then also is like at the end of the movie how Bison dies with his head twisted completely around, yep. and it's still on his body. Cool. That, that wasn't as just like visually. No, nah, it wasn't for me, as like you know. Much it just kind of looks silly. Well, everything in this movie looked pretty. You know, because like after that, that's when Nash walks up to oh, Chun Li. God, and you know, we're talking about like Interpol detective, like law enforcement. And he just walks up to Chun Li, and he's like, "Good work." And I was like, "What? No." <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, like, I don't you, understand. You need to come in and talk to me. I don't understand why Charlie go on your merry way, and, random kung fu lady. Why were they even in the movie? They could have cut them out. And actually explain some shit about Chun Li, and it would have made a better movie. Because Charlie and uh, Maya, the whole movie, never meet Chun Li, never really have a run in with anybody with Bison. And to the very end, Chun Li comes to them, and it's like, hey, I could use some help. She could have done that with anybody. I, I, I would have rather have seen her and like her and Jen just go like storm that bitch. Well, Jen yeah. is sitting there making glowy Hadouken balls that never get used. That he never uses. And none of them in, use them. I don't think. Manner. I think she uses it at the end. I think and Does shoots she? a ball at Bison and he falls down and then she jumps and twists. Yeah, his neck yeah, or something yeah, yeah. That, like that's that. how the she. Only, the only thing I can do is which. Keep why was Bison weak. beating the shit out of her? Well, she did. She took a bullet, right? Yeah, but like to the hand, I thought. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, so she's a kicker, all right? Who can jump eight feet in the sky? Like, so yeah, who gives a feet, shit? Yeah. You know? <laughs> but I and kept, every I kept thinking, Bison's like, moves all had that tiger sound, like, whatever, like, oh, that lion sound. It was some animal, like a tiger or something. Every time he'd come up and he'd, like, do just, some kind of move, you'd hear this. Just, just like, cause. some sort of. Yeah. yeah. Just cause. And I just, I couldn't buy Bison beating the shit out of her. Because was, he was just, he was just, like, 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 street brawling you know like he had no actual skill well they're street yeah well they are street fighters but after we've seen her how about your lassie <laughs> after we've seen her completely wipe the floor with vega like without missing a beat barely oh yeah breaking we a almost sweat. passed over vega yeah. vega's fight scene was very underwhelming she destroys his ass and bison is gonna come up here it, it kind of makes trouble. you appreciate more of the anime because of that fight when when I saw that that fight was happening, I, I the first thing I thought was back to Street Fighter Two, the animated movie, and I was like, that was a really cool fight in that movie, and I was like, maybe they're gonna take some inspiration here, yep. and they're gonna have like 
like a decent fight. It was just thrown in there, yep, like it was. Oh, hey Vega, you just, could go kill yeah. her, and he's like, yeah, sure, and then he doesn't, and then it's over, and that that's Vega's only screen time because he has a little bit of screen time in that beginning where he's told to kill the businessman. You don't see him kill him. Instead, you see Bison sit down and have like a nice meal, and you just hear people dying. Yeah, like that that classic like look how crazy he is. Yeah. Like you know, sit down and have a nice meal while death and destruction so, is happening so behind what, him. What was your reaction when Vegas mask came off and you realized it's that guy from Black Eyed Peas? I didn't know it was a guy. I had no idea who that was. I was, you know, my my reaction at the time was, oh shit, Black Eyed Peas is about to perform. <laughs> Where, where's Will I am? Yeah, I said I did the same thing in the Wolverine Origins movie. There's well I am. I'm like Black Eyed Peas is sure to follow. You know it's funny too because I was watching some interviews about this movie before we started this, and like in almost, I saw like maybe four different interviews. All of them, he was in the interviews because he's just the most popular. I you know, guess, guy but he was. The but uh, they, may, they may, must have dropped an album at that time. Or <laughs> I don't know. I don't but know. like he had like no part in the movie, and then he was like, they were like talking about, well, well, oh, well how was all the martial arts training? He was like, man, it was tough, man, it was hard working on his martial. And yeah, I was he like, didn't do you're shit. Like, you're like, what? what? He didn't Motherfucker, do shit. How much, what, what fight scene? He just like waddled around and flung his little claws. And look, and, like I, that was. I don't want to be on this thing, shitting on people in the movie. You got your job, you you did your thing, but like you had one scene, and it was like I, like, and then we barely saw your face to like the end, and he was talking like how like, oh you know uh, it's good to be like a Mexican martial artist. I think he said he was Mexican or some kind of Spanish martial artist, and there's not many of us around that do martial arts and of this thing and all that. And I'm just like, what? So he was pretty much there, but only did like one or two scenes. And I'm thinking, well, somebody's got to get the donuts. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's got to bring coffee. I wanted to hear you guys' opinion on the way he looked. Like, just, just, <laughs> just like the outfit. Like, no, why nothing. Did, why did they make him look like that? Nothing compared to the Street Fighter movie Vega that was amazing. It was spot on dude this dude here Spot was like on. kind of a homely looking he's not like really he was just in like black cargo pants dude vega like in a the black games? sweater yeah vega in the games is like a cage fighter like yep. that dude's gonna be he's ripped nuts. like you know he's he'll fuck you up yeah no yeah. this guy like i said black cargo pants black sweater with like a silver mask yeah the mask was tripping me out that was kind of weird he really looked fucked. ridiculous. He looked like more of like a ridiculous like horror slasher villain. He looked like he, he looked like your when you have a young like a young sibling and you have to take them out for Halloween because you're old enough for your parents to be like I'm not doing that shit. You're gonna take your little brother out to go Halloween, and you're like, all right, I guess. What I, oh, I got silver mask. Oh, I'm Vega. Like that's what he looks like. like. <laughs> so, so you're telling me he looked like he went to Party City yeah. and grabbed like every single Not little thing. Even. He didn't even go. He didn't leave his house to find that costume. All right, he just happened to have something from years ago. Probably, yeah. So it's scary. You could probably find that costume at Party City. Probably. I hope not. I really hope not. I th- no, not today. I wouldn't be surprised. It's At not- the time, you probably could have. Like when that movie uh, came out, you might you might have been able to find. Uh, well, what would they would have called them? Like Vega question mark? No, they, they, they always have some like super Vega weird like mark. you know I don't I don't know what they would call it silver mask claw assassin with like hair that, that with was, black hair yeah you know that that would be his title, and that's basically what was in this movie was. Ye old silver mask claw <laughs> assassin guy. Ye old silver mask guy. Yeah. So, I also liked the scene where Chun Li was training, and they had her blindfolded, and he was throwing those little balls, and they were like bouncing, and she was like catching them. So you don't like going back to the beginning, like? No, that was when Jim no, no. was training. Yeah, they they, they train. It's like a couple of scenes, couple of scenes training. Couple scenes, couple you scenes don't remember training. that? Yeah, yeah, they kind of because, because, because I remember watching it and being like, "Oh, so there's going to be some scene later where she won't be able to see and she'll catch something." Oh, no, no, no. Why? Why did you waste my fucking time with this bullshit? Because well, they, they, that was the same time when he shot his first glowy Hadouken ball and like broke all the bells and shit. And yeah, I was they, like, "Whoa!" Yeah, there was never saw that in action either. 
You know, there was no real callbacks to anything that they did. Nope. No real like coming back around. No like proper storytelling. It was just like. I feel like I could have made the same movie if I just got like a whole bunch of trailers from different movies and just cut like all the cool scenes out of them and then spliced them together to tell some sibilance of a story. No, you take all those trailers from the other movies and you cut out all, all the cool scenes and then you go in your backyard and reenact them. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. then you will make this movie. Yeah. Well, I got a couple of fun facts here about the Chun Li movie. I think. Uh, we've kind of gone through the gist of it, just about. As good as we're going to get. I mean, that movie was too disjointed. Uh, but it, it basically... I, I kind of wanted to add it, something to it. Go. Probably my favorite line in the entire movie is when it was at nighttime, and then he tells him it, it was something more in the lines of, this will be your greatest, oh, it's like greatest obstacle yeah, that this. your master will ever teach you. Go to the store, get some groceries for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> and there were no hesitation. She gets up and does it. Yeah. She's just like, ah, I love you. <laughs> do, 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 do. Like that was pretty much how that scene played out. Yeah, that's how it goes. And then he turns and looks like, hmm, I think there's a rocket launcher coming. Mm, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Goes back to what he's they doing. They just yeah. find his place. Did they explain how they no, found it? No, they just fucking showed no, up. They just found they it. They just show up and shoot a rocket at it. And it's, like, it's like Google. <laughs> look, look for Gin's place look for guy who is helping person who is currently giving us problems search uh, oh we got it guys <laughs> Siri, Siri can't do it yeah who so they shoot a rocket at and have some like oh he's dead no, he's oh not. no and then right at the end of the movie not even a dramatic interest just no, a he's just like, oh huh. hey I'm here so I'm here I'm, so I can fight Balrog I'm, I'm still alive I can, I can go fight Balrog and Bison right now I'm, I'm here let's still let's do it. it it was it wasn't even like a oh why, my god he's still why alive why didn't he just Hadouken blast Balrog why did he get his ass whooped the entire time and then didn't Balrog just like kind of happen to fall on that pipe or did he actually like hit him into the pipe I think he might have punched him or drop kicked him or some shit and like knocked him into the pipe. Some shit. But I mean, up the whole time he's getting his ass whooped. I'm just like, dude, just fucking Hyduke in his ass. It's apparently you can do that now. You know, I don't. Yep. Yeah, apparently. Well, here's some of the fun facts for you. the The budget was eighteen million dollars. It grossed, uh, right under nine million dollars. Ooh. Is how much it made. Lifetime. Ooh. <laughs> I figured that was like... That's half. Damn. Shit. Yep. Opening was like $4 million. It was opening. Yeah. That sounds about right. And how much were the tickets? So in a... Like $100 uh, per person. Yeah. <laughs> Special screen. <laughs> All 16 people saw it. <laughs> Apparently there's some... some Totally off topic, but there's some new Shia LaBeouf movie that in the UK, two tickets were sold. I heard about this. Yes. Hey, I good job, Shia. This. But like, good but job. they did something weird. They were very selective with like their screenings. It, like it didn't just show up like in like every theater that you can possibly. It was like you got to go to this theater. It, it was mm. yeah, it was weird. That's weird. But, yeah, that was totally off. The topic. first two people that buy tickets get to sit next to Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't surprise. tell we don't tell anybody. You just buy them and sit down and somebody's there. <laughs> Do you guys ever hear that song where Shia LaBeouf's a cannibal? No. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't want to hear it now. Yeah, off topic. <laughs> off topic. Well, we'll get to that later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. In 2003, Universal wanted to do Street Fighter 2, the, the movie Street Fighter 2. Several cast members, including John claude Van Damme, yes! had been hired <laughs> to do the sequel. After a few years of trying to get Street Fighter 2 off the ground, the plans were scrapped in favor of Legend of Chun Li. What? Now, wait, Van Damme was originally offered the role for Guile in The Legend of Chun Li, so he would have reprised his role. But he turned down the role because. Uh, he would have been the only original cast member to come back. So he that, was like, then it's yeah. also known that uh, Joe Claude Van Damme does not like doing sequels to his movie. Yeah. To his movies. Well, because of the poor box office performance of Legend of Chun-Li, the sequel for Ryu and Ken was canceled. Because you know they ended that movie with like a, oh, Ryu and there's some fighter, Ryu, 
going into the Street Fighter tournament. Like, they set up this whole thing at the very end that there was going to be a Street Fighter tournament. A Legend of Chun-Li? Yeah, at the end. At the very end, uh, Jin, he tells oh, Shit. I'm yeah, yeah, he does. It. Yeah, he's like, well, now, since you got nothing else to do. Yeah, he's like, oh, yeah, yeah since we solved all your problems. Yeah. Yeah. I, Which, I, I, oh, I, another horrible thing. She watches her dad's neck get twisted and broken in front of her face. Yep. And, but, like... She's even that, hot when she, she cries. She, she doesn't... She didn't seem oh to care God. too much. She was no, like, man, she, shit. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I think um, they even reference Ryu and Ken. I think he's like, they got these two new up-and-comers who are blah, 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 blah. And they reference the two of them. So I hope they're not Ryu and Ken. We'll see. Yeah. Okay, so here, here, like, you, you know how I said it was a piss poor editing job? Mm-hmm. This is it. Most of the backstory setting up the alliance between Chun Li and Nash can be found in the deleted scenes on the DVD. That makes sense to me. I thought there was like something missing. She just goes. Oh, so, wait, so wait, there are deleted scenes. Th- yeah, that explain in the DVD, there's deleted scenes that explain movie. why Chun Li and like Charlie are like working together. Like so, how how she gets to that point. Like she just. Out the blue in the movie goes to Charlie and is like, "Oh, hey, can you help me with Bison?" And he's like, "Sure, no problem." So I love this job. So that means yeah. I have to see more of Chris Klein. Yeah. yeah. No, thank no, thank you. No, thank you. Maya is based off a of Sea Viper from the Street Fighter. I have no 4 idea. Who that is. She's from Street Fighter Four. She's a new character. Yeah, she's kind of. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why I said this. This movie dropped right after Street Fighter Four came out. Oh. Yeah, it, it's like the perfect time to drop a movie, I guess. And um, just a little yeah. funny thing: Chen Li wears black to her mother's funeral, but uh, in China, it's customary to wear white for a family member's funeral. So, got that wrong. Nobody with, did their research with Asian baby. Were they in China? With, yeah, it was Bangkok, Thailand. That's in Thailand, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, they were, were they in Bangkok? No, when, but she started off died? in. I think she started off in China though. Because she's she is. I thought she started off China. in Hong Kong. Yeah. I yeah, think she yeah, yeah. And that's Kong. in China. And then she goes to Bangkok, which is Thailand. That's right. Because right. that's where a lot of that stuff happens with Bison is in Thailand and Street Fighter. Because he's Thai. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how <laughs> him and Sagat get hooked up. Um, Tiger D. Yeah. So that's it. Some of the other stuff we said, but it's just a few of the little things that uh, this movie did that. Well. Whatever, just like this movie. Just like yeah, uh, I know. I know. In the last movie, every time Bison popped up, I kept saying Raw Julia is so good. In this movie, I was just like, Lana Lang so hot. And that's about it's it. Like that was Lana Lang. Lana Lang from Smallville. Yeah, Smallville. The old small. I don't. I, I remember the show, but I I don't remember. Yeah, her. she was Lana Lang. She was the uh, the chick that um, Superman was always trying to get at the reporter in high school. No, no not no, the reporter. That's, that's chick. Lois Lane. That's Lois Lane. Lana Lang is his high school sweetheart. Yeah. So the show starts off what? in Smallville. The show starts off with him in high school. She's yeah. not yeah, a yeah, Superman. Yeah, yeah. Well, up and coming. Lana, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, Lana is his. Uh, High school, like he, a sweetheart. Like he's trying to get at her the whole time in like the first two or three. Seasons. But they're such good friends, and she has kryptonite around her neck. Yeah, yeah, some of that. So no, that's fine. That's yeah, fine. we're not getting this small though. So, um, yeah, man, let's. Uh, I have a quick question. Sure. So my thing to you guys is, who do you think did it better as Chung Lee, Lana, or Jackie Chan? Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan. Sorry, guys. I had to bring it up. I had to bring it up. Jackie Chan was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So Jackie Chan did better as all the Street Fighter characters. What What is that movie called, the Jackie Chan? That movie is called City Hunter, and it's made in 1993. Okay. So just so y'all don't know, there's a... uh, I think I believe I shared it on on my Facebook. If you follow on our Facebook at Who's Next Gaming Entertainment, uh, I shared that video. It's on YouTube. It's... uh, uh, Jackie Chan has a fight scene where he gets electrocuted by a Street Fighter arcade game or something like yeah, that. He, yeah, he, he gets, gets like his thrown. head bashed. He, he yeah. gets yeah. thrown into the... It's supposed to be a Street Fighter arcade port, but for some reason, it's like yay high off the ground. Yeah. So he's thrown into it, and then he's electrocuted. And when he looks up, 
all the bad guys now look like Street Fighter characters. Yeah, and then Jackie and he, Chan... he cycles through different Street Fighter characters. And then he ends up in one moment as Chun-Li, and he does, like, the kicks and the spinning oh, yeah, kick, man. and he, they even play the little voices from the old Street Fighter 2 game, and it's pretty amazing. He, it was fantastic. He did the pose pretty good, and I, I was pretty impressed. My yeah. wife put that as my background for a little while. <laughs> so nice. when I saw the spin kick in the uh, Legend of Chun-Li scene, I was thinking, who did this better? Lana or Jackie Chan? Wasn't that that was in the club scene, right? Where she did her she, little she did like signature, little... yeah. She and never I'll... actually did like her real signature move with the, uh, like the the really fast kicks. You know, neither of them did because uh, the Street Fighter movie didn't even do any of her special moves. And then this Legend of Chun Li. Wait, I, th- they... I thought she did the the upside down spinning in, in the first one. I thought she did that to Bison when they were in his his. Did, did she? I was did just I so distracted up? by Raw Julie being so good in that God, movie. I, I, I didn't know. Tone your, bon- your boner down, dude. Like, <laughs> I'm just saying. Damn, the Raw Julia boner. I'm trying to have a conversation here. <laughs> Swinging your rock hard dick all over the place. He was so good. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. But, but honestly, I don't really remember that kick in the first movie. Uh, maybe it wasn't. I don't remember uh, it Yeah, I'm probably they did. They, they did the spinning kick because they actually, it feels like the movie stops. To show her go upside down and then start in the legend of Chun Li. Yeah, legend yeah, of Chun Li. Yeah, I remember that. So like it just felt like a point to be yeah, like, like, this is this is like, what hey, she does. Hey, hey, yeah. like, in, the, in, the, in the game, the she has that Hadouken thing. Yep. So I mean, they did try to do that in the movie, but I like how we, anything that you shoot out of your hands is a Hadouken. Like it doesn't matter. Right. <laughs> it's like unless no. it spins, it's a sonic boom. Yeah, and uh, give me if I'm wrong, but I think in the animated stuff. Maybe I guess in the game because I'm not as familiar with the the actual storylines of the characters in the game. Yeah. But I think Chun Li isn't she like a cop, like an Interpol cop or something mm. like that. I know. Yeah, I thought she was supposed to be some sort of law enforcement. Yeah, I thought so. In that outfit. Hell yeah. yeah. Why not? Very well. Stop crying. Not like an actual like. But I mean like. Well, see, not the outfit, but I think she became a cop. In I Street think the Fighter animated 4. movies did I don't some know of if that. you saw her hands in Street Fighter 4. Because the only thing I remember they say but about. God damn. The only thing I remember they were saying about her, her background was Bison kills her dad. She wants Bison. Yeah, I mean, maybe. But I. I for some reason, that's ringing a bell for me, yeah, too. Yeah, because all, all their storylines are just pretty brief and to the point. Yeah, well, I'm trying to look it up. But uh, while, while I'm doing that, I'm curious to know. Uh, Let's say, how, how many lives did we lose? So, uh, Ryan, why don't you start it off? How many lives did you lose? And just kind of give some final comments about this movie. Game over. Dead. <laughs> All five lives lost, All huh? Dead. I mean, I'm looking at Google when it says, it's like one of the, like the second or third posts, but it says uh, in Street Fighter 4, no, 5, they have Chun-Li's story outfit is a police uniform. Mm. So yeah, that's I pretty so. out of context, but you know, I don't know. I, I, I could have sworn that she was supposed to be some sort of law enforcement. Yeah. I, I don't. Hmm. Anyways, I, I, I have to say it's fatality for me. Five lives. I just kept falling off that cliff watching it. And I watched it with Tina too. And Tina was just looked at me halfway in the movie. She was like, What's happening? <laughs> I, I, to be honest, I almost I, know. <laughs> I, I almost had a one up where I was just down to one life until Chris Klein showed up, and I was just like, "God damn it!" Well, see, I just okay. immediately lost all my lives when he first showed up at the at the crime scene with that fucking music playing and then staring at Maya's ass and like, "I love this." Job. I was like, "All yeah. right, I'm done." I yeah, guess that was it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Get that soundtrack. <laughs> so uh, I lost five. Ryan lost five. Oh yeah, I lost them all. You lost them. I all. lost them all. Wow, all this right. is the first guys. Yeah, so we're all Holy fucking shit. dead on this movie. Yeah, that was yeah. terrible. Was just... I absolutely hated that shit. Well, maybe we'll have something to wash this away with. So Ryan, why don't you go ahead and uh, get your uh, get your drink? Don't mind if I do. Get your drink. And uh, we'll try it right now. Hi, right, Ryan. Tell us about the drink. Well, the drink is actually pretty simple. It is just, it is pretty much the same concoction as the last drink I did, which if anybody didn't really tune into that, I made a drink called Toilet, 
which is a tribute to Zangief, which is pretty much my spin on a black Russian. Too late! There you go. That was Seth being a little late on the... Uh... No, that's fine. All right, you said I can taste this? Yeah, go ahead. Try it. I know you're not much of a drinker, so it's got a little more vodka. By not than much, I'm. he means I don't drink alcohol. Yay. That was wretched. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. Go ahead. It's okay, Tim. You're forgiving. You don't drink That's, <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> can't yeah, develop a taste for this stuff. It's fine. Um, which is pretty much liqueur. It's Russian vodka, of course. I like to use Russian standard. An ice cube. And just a hint of vanilla. Now, too early is what I call this one. It's pretty much the same thing, but minus the liqueur. And you add orange juice. Is still the vanilla extract in there too? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. It's good for mornings. It's good for hangovers of watching Legend of Chung Lee. There you go. Got to um, recover. Got to find some way to recover and cope. Yeah. Well, I got a little information because, like I said before, Chun, Chun Lee, I thought was an Interpol agent, which they let Charlie be the Interpol agent. Because why? But not? I looked at uh, this fandom.com, I think, uh, is the website here. It's powered by. Uh, is a video game character. <laughs> <laughs> this is powered by Wikia, I guess. W I K I A. I don't know. <laughs> I have a responsibility to cite things. Nah. <laughs> Let me see if I can scroll up. What see do you want from me, this. people? Because <laughs> I don't really say who wrote this. If it says who wrote this to put this together, I give them credit. But it says fandom.com is powered by Wikia. I'm assuming that's who powers the website, like we use Squarespace. I'm assuming it's just like a, that's what that means. That's fine. Yeah, whatever. Good job. Anyways, she's the first female fighter in the series of, Ch- of Street Fighter and an expert martial artist and Interpol officer who relentlessly seeks revenge for the death of her father at the hands of M. Bison. So, On a yes. Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, she's uh, yeah. They, they make a point. They make a point here to let her be known by her very muscular thighs. So that's always been the case. It's her hands now too. Yeah. In Street Fighter I, Four, they gave her enormous hands. Yeah. I do love her Interpol uniform though. I bet you do. Yeah. I bet nice. you want to see Raul Julia in it. He's so good. <laughs> so good. Yep. R.I.P. Raw Julia. Yep. <laughs> so, we decided, well, fuck this movie. We're going to close this movie out with some Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> <laughs> since it, we it, brought it, him up. Since, since, since it came up. and Thank uh, you, Timmy. Yeah, since none of these other guys knew what it was about, we thought we would just close out with uh, sharing the world. There you go. So, this is from R- Rob Cantor on his YouTube so you can look at the YouTube video there. It's called Actual Cannibal Shia LaBeouf. Enjoy. So give him credit to where it's due. It's to him. But this is hilarious. This is by eh, whatever. Yeah, so we're going to drink our drinks. Yeah, we're going to drink our drinks. And you can enjoy this. You're walking in the woods. There's no one around and your phone is dead. Out of the corner of your eye, you spot him. He's following you, about 30 feet back. He gets down on all fours and breaks into a sprint. He's gaining on you. Shia LaBeouf. You're looking for your car, but you're all turned around. He's almost upon you now, and you can see there's blood on his face. My God, there's blood everywhere. Running for your life from Shia LaBeouf. He's brandishing a knife. It's Shia LaBeouf. Looking in the shadow. dark and you seem to have lost him but you're hopelessly lost yourself stranded with a murderer you creep silently through the underbrush aha in the distance a small cottage with a light on hope you move stealthily toward it but your leg ah it's caught in a bear trap off your leg. Quiet, quiet. Me to the cottage quiet, quiet. now you're on the doorstep sitting inside Behind me, friendly superstar.
Tuesday night for Shadow. It's always Tuesday. <laughs> What'd you think of it? It's good. I mean, I overdid it on this one because it was a mug, since I could see where the ice. It's pretty much trying to pour the vodka to where the ice just lifts just a little bit. Ha, 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 ha. 